Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of Crash Bandicoot Warped. So in this episode, we're going to World 2. And starting off with the level G Wiz. Oh, it's not G Willikers. Oh, who is this? Why, why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Yes, Cortex, I won't pummel your minions next time. I'm sorry, I apologize. Anyways, we've got another uh, medieval level, which I really like these levels. So we got a hundred boxes. Oh, looks like we get to test out our super body slam and get more Aku Aku. So these, just jump and go boom. We'll never know if you actually can destroy them just with a regular body slam, because they're never around at that point. Oh, invincibility, sweet. Gandalf the White will have to die. I can just run into everything. Man, this makes it really easy at this point. Gotta love invincibility in this game, man. Oh man, I wanted that. Oh man, nuggets. Ah, oh, no Aku Aku in the mystery crate. Eh, I almost got hit by the frog. Don't know how I managed that. Oh, hey guy, a bastard sword, get out of here. Boop. Now these guys can be annoying with their magic because it homes in on you. Woo! Almost got hit by it. Yeah, and enemies can't destroy crates that are checkpoints. Destroy other things, just not that. Boom! Oh, no way. More invincibility, really? This is gonna be awesome. Invincibility run! Oh, look. More Gandalf. Looks like he's like, ooh. Hey, Mr. Frog. Can I just, can I get to that in time? Oh, we just got to it in time. So now we're set, sitting at 71 out of 100 boxes. Also, I just believe, I just remembered that this is the first level with Nitro in it. Oh, looks like we have to go down there. Man, we're in like a, a we're above a moat, I believe. Point, point, point. Gotta hate these boxes with a passion. A passion for fashion. No, I don't really have a passion for fashion. Oh, I thought I fell down there for a second. <laughs> I was like, oh great. But no, we made it up. Now, for this part, just be careful. No! We lost our Aku Aku! And all that Wumpa Fruit. All because the jump is very finicky. They actually make it so you have to come back with some of your power-ups to do stuff, but you usually cheat it. Just by timing yourself right. Now I gotta do all of this over. Oh, joy to the world. Alright, destroy everything in your path. At least we'll get a one up from all these Wampa Fruits. All these Wampa Fruit, I meant all this Wampa Fruit. Ha, that was funny. What? Crash, you're not supposed to miss the crate. Crate balls of fire, Crash. Jeez Louise, man. Should be easy. Oh, so I believe this is where we get introduced to two more concepts in this world. Though I believe there is another water level. I believe there's always like two running around crash levels and then like vehicle levels and stuff. Oh yeah, that worked out beautifully. That really cut some time and some annoying Wumpa Fruit. That one's awesome though. Ah! That's how that works out for us. Boink. And this should be fine. There we go, see that works out a lot better for us. Yeah, we'll still get a life from the Wumpa Fruit, though. And only 11 boxes remain, and I know one or two of them is Nitro. Because, you know, the stuff at the beginning we couldn't destroy. I'm still disappointed that we lost our Aku Aku. I like having him as backup, or running into things and destroying them with our invincibility. Boink. Oh, hey, Mr. Frog. Uh, uh. 
Boom. It's all Nitro. And that's the end. Crash gets sucked into your vortex. And with that, that level is complete except for the time trial. Like I said, time trials will be easier once we actually beat the game. Crash, you don't need to do that, sir. Anyways, on to Hang Em High and the Gold Gem we cannot get, I believe, until... Okay, I apologize with that abrupt interruption, but apparently my cord wiggled just loose enough where to unplug the PVR, so... Yeah, hey, Aladdin. Are you Hassam Hussein? Nah. Anyways, we have 96 boxes, and like I was saying, we cannot get 100% or like the gold gem here because, well, that requires you to get 10 relics, and we don't even have 10 levels complete yet. We only have six. Just slide into those guys if you want to kill them easily. Otherwise, they can still hurt you after you knock the pots on them. Boingy. Anything up here hidden? Nope. Whoa. Talk about a crazy slide maneuver. Hey, Mr. Monkey. Oh, man. At least I think it's a monkey, not someone's hairy aunt. <laughs> Alright, let's collect all this wumpa fruit. And bounce on up here. And I want that goddamn mystery box before it disappears. You know, they turn to steel and we'll never be able to get them again. That would just be no bueno. Hey, sorry, Mr. Aladdin. Gotta leave you. We don't have time for people like you. Ooh, the crystal and the bonus. Now watch out for your shadow on the ground so you know it's safe to land. And why does he just walk on the platform instead of jump on it? It's kind of weird. Oh, man, that gets... Now this is gonna be annoying. Man. God, the timing for this is all bull. Well, never mind. That all worked out in the long run. Well, for the rest of it's not that difficult. Oh, this. There we go. Perfect. Wouldn't screw that up. Normally, that's the hard part. Sweet. And 100% on the bonus. So now we can leave. Let's see how many boxes are we going to be at? 56. 40 more to go. I guess the name is called Hang'em High because of the fact that you're on these climbing things the entire time. In Wrath of Cortex, these things get really slow and annoying. I'm glad this game wasn't like that. I don't know why they made it slow. And again, it's not the same company making it. I don't even think any other companies are the same on it. Whoa. Man, really? I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I suppose we use invincibility frames to make sure to kill people along the way. Oh no. You. Oh, hey, look, the end of the level. Let's hit this one first. And then we'll hit that one. And see, we get 100% even though you can't get the gold gem. Well, all the boxes at least. Because the boxes actually add to... Or, I mean, the gold gem path is literally just, I believe, a harder path with no boxes. So luckily, we can collect all that. Booyah. And booyah. And that was level 2, so level 3 is Hog Ride, which is a racing level. No one likes these levels in Crash 3. Probably the least liked levels of all time. Okay. Vroom vroom time. Okay. There we go, we're doing a wheelie. If you want to slow down the wheelie, just hold that or hold down. Man. Now yeah, you still have to collect boxes and everything in here, which is going to be the annoying part. But if you're lucky, you can actually get a hundred percent. And like get the gem and the crystal all at once. So let's hope we can do that. Otherwise, we're gonna just aim for the gem. And then come back for the crystal. Because you have to get first place to get the, the crystal. You don't have to get first place to get the gem, though. Woohoo! Yeah, we're a speed demon. Yeah, shortcut, bitch. Man, 
Man, that didn't work out in my favor. Ah! We're just short of being first place. That didn't go too bad. Um, we got sucked in before the portal was actually there, but that makes sense, I guess, right? I believe he does the whole pelvic thrust thing if you get the gem, so watch, he'll probably get the probably do it now, right? Yep, it's if you get the gem. So in we go. I wonder if it's called hog ride because, you know, Harleys are generally referred to as hogs. And then two, that the fact that the boss of this world is half pig. Actually, it's he's a pig face, which is funny because he's actually dog and or well, dingo, more specifically, dingo and alligator. Or alligator, crocodile, dingo. Dog. Why the hell did I say alligator? No, and you don't actually hold down like people say. You actually just let go of the analog stick. So. I don't know what all those tips and tricks are online, but they're always lies. At least in these last few games I've been playing, they have been. I gotta take these jumps, man. These jumps just seem to backfire. Boom of boom. Boom boom, mother effers. Pass that guy again. Dun 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 dun. And there we go, we should have a... Yeah, we're gonna come out first place. Now Crash will do his weird little gear, got the crystal thing. And he's out of there. So far, so good. And there we go, there's the crystal. Now into level 9, which is... Toon time, and we have Midnight Run. So let's do Toon Time, which is a uh, Egyptian level or a Sphinx level. Do we get introduced to the boss? Good day, mates. Dingo dials the name, and Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystals to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. I don't get it. It's like, give him the crystals during the Ice Age, yet we're clearly not collecting these in the Ice Age. So, how does that work? 95 boxes and a snake. I'm not sure if this is a death platform or what in this level, but we'll, we'll see what it is. See if we can get both gems for once. We have yet to get both gems in a level. Hey, crocodiles. Yeah, Nile crocodiles, right? So... Yeah, it makes sense if they're crocodiles. Now, these levels are weird and have oil. They're filled with booby traps. It's like one of the big gimmicks of these levels. So pretty much the booby trap ridden levels of this world. Or of this game. Yeah, the scared ones will fall, so just be careful on them. Apparently a lot of people have a hard time getting the relic on this level. It's not too difficult as long as you know what you're doing. Oh my lord, lots of TNT. Oh no. TNT. It's dynamite. God, this is like a scary bonus, man. Oh yeah, this one. I remember this. Just gotta time that carefully. And with that, we got 100% on the bonus. So now we can just hop on here and leave. Adios, bonus. Ooh, we're gonna have another life from all those. So we're at 36, and we've had a few fails slash deaths that we did on our own, like, you know, suicidal deaths, but... Eh. Still, we got a lot of lives for just being on level 9. We have these monkeys. Just destroy all the pots so they can't get you. Hey, Mr. Lever Guy, die. Oh yeah, if you go in the light, there's arrow traps, and they will shoot you and kill you, so just be careful not to step in the light. That's advice when you're dying. Don't go into the light. Go into the light if you want to die, but... Ah, oh, goddammit, no. No, man, we need the uh, purple gem to actually get the gem here. So, we're not going to be able to do all that. So anyways, let's do this. And bounce! Okay, we want to time this right so... You know, we can make it. We don't want to fall to our demise or anything down there. Whew. Almost slid off the platform. 
another really tight fit there. Hopefully we can get all the boxes though. I'm not sure if we can or not now. This might be another one of the ones where we need... Like... The purple gem to actually be able to get all the things. Because there are some levels in the game where you're not going to be able to get 100% right away. Or for a while, actually. What do you have a flamethrower? This is an Egyptian level, and I don't think there's any way we're going to have... No, there's no way we're going to get 100% here. Because clearly we need more boxes. And those boxes are behind that pathway, so... Yep. We can't get the gem here yet. So, we're out of here. And that just leaves the... Uh, Midnight Express level. And then the boss level. So... That's pretty good. And let's go to Midnight Run. And yeah, it's the only Coco level here. I believe the next world has the introduction to a new mechanic plus another Coco level. I don't think any world has two Coco levels, though. Charge! Okay, we don't need to go up this time yet. Yeah, to do a time trial, you actually have to beat the level the first time. Or, a first time first, before you can actually do it. God frickin' damn it. I'm, I'm, I hate losing Aku Aku in these levels. I, I wish if you d fall off a cliff with Aku Aku, you don't lose them, you know? Like how in Donkey Kong, if you die by falling off a cliff, you saw both Kongs. Because technically both Kongs died at the same... God damn it. There, smack yourself in a barrel, tiger. And she's just like, it's your fault, man. Even though the little tiger didn't do anything. But why is she carrying her laptop with her? I guess she's scared that people are going to steal her laptop. Do, 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 do. What? That was that. And how are you not... Oh yeah, this is going bad. We're now at down to 35 lives. Man. Yeah, let's not do anything too stupid or hasty now. There we go. Get all that. There we go. Finally got that. If I die to something stupid, I'll be sad. There we go. Point. Get out of the way, Sir Asian. Oh my god. God, is this game racist or what? This looks so racist, man. Woohoo! Yeah, we don't fail on that part, and that part's usually difficult, so. Man, that was just embarrassing with the last few incidents. And we almost got 100% here. These ones are actually fairly easy to get the relic on, too. These ones you don't actually need the running shoes or anything like that to get, obviously. If we did, that would just be weird. Four more boxes to go. And here they are. Now you can just beat the level. Because apparently there's a majority of the level that, or a big chunk of the level doesn't have any boxes. Oh god, the cat almost fell off the cliff. I don't think he actually can. But it was terrifying. And there, and with that, Coco got 100% on her level. Only took a few fails here and there, but we didn't. We, we, we didn't. We, we, we didn't. Now give me the stuff, Coco. Boom. And now let's take on the boss, Dingo Dial. Go right into his chest, apparently. He's like... <laughs> noodles. Right. Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. That was a terrible Australian accent, good sir. Just awful. Well, hey, look. Uh, sir Quackers. He's <laughs> like, oh, shit! Break out the butter. We're gonna make toast. Um, I'm made of meat, so... I don't think I can be toast. Now, for this, you just have to watch out for his attacks. And then he'll do like these big blasts to destroy his force field, and then once you get in there, you can spin on him. So watch out for him. The 
more pistols you destroy, the better. There we go. With that, we just go out here before he blows up. And then, he'll reset everything. See? There they all come down. Now, he'll kind of change his attack pattern. And his, uh, blasting to, like, destroy the crystals will be faster. And I guess he pauses there to, you know, like, trick you. Now, I did a few practice runs of this. I actually failed a few times, even though I know exactly what I'm doing. See, he, like, tricks you sometimes, you know? He, like, goes ahead of you in, the, in this, like, phase. Except for that time, apparently. Can, can I please get to you? Thank you. Now, can you please go kaboom? Goodbye, sir. Now his name is just Ding. Short for Dingleopagus. Now run. Run like the Dickens. He's doing double blasts. Getting awfully close. Still not close enough to defeat me, though. Oh god, that was awfully close, man. Stop tricking me like that, dude. I'm not that hard to pinpoint where I am. Oh shit, I can't get in. God damn it. Can you stop with the weird attack pattern and just die already? There we go. Didn't even take any damage from him. You thrashed me, mate. Yeah, I did thrash you, mate. And we got double jump, which is obviously just press X twice. Heh, <laughs> pelvic thrust. Get out of there, Crash. It's cold. I believe that's actually the only snowy level. Otherwise, I believe there's snowy levels in almost every other Crash game. Oh, no cutscene. Okay. And with that, we will now move on to World 3, the Chinese world. So in the next episode, that's where we're going, everybody. See you guys then.